Hello, my friends. It is still 4th of July for at least another 34 minutes. Um, thank you to a bunch of the commenters below that have been um, uh, obviously watching this closely as we have had an uprise in both, uh, I'm pretty sure both of these invests. We are at 70% chance over five days. Um, this is looking like it will form at least to a tropical depression, um, maybe a tropical storm. And if it can um, survive the, sh the uh, shear winds that it's going to be dealing with, um, which won't last long. They, they, they are long enough that it could tear it apart, but if those don't tear it apart, we could be looking at our first pretty significant storm moving towards the Leeward Islands. We will talk about this on a daily basis. I was going to touch on this tomorrow, but uh, why not? I'm still awake. And um, hitting that 70 mark is, is pretty significant for this time of year. Um, I don't think we have hit a 70 yet this season as far as the Atlantic Ocean goes. As you can see here, we are back up to 50% formation over five days with our disturbance here on the East Coast, closest to the Carolinas. Now, if this does stay true, uh, the Carolinas will absolutely, including Chesapeake Bay and New Jersey, uh, feel the effects of this storm, whether it's a tropical depression, tropical storm, hurricane, or just a storm itself. Remember, um, the amount of water that was dumped on uh, Texas uh, with a simple storm. Uh, that was not a cyclone, that was not a hurricane, but it was uh, almost record-breaking numbers and uh, levels of water. So, once again, you do not need hurricanes to cause damage or to uh, basically just ruin uh, someone's day. Let's just put it that way. So, alright, so we got our two invests here. Um, in my opinion, this thing will be named very shortly. Um, it's heading right at the uh, Lesser Antilles uh, Islands here. Obviously, this one's heading up towards the northeast. Chances are it will get pushed out by the jet stream, but there is that chance that it could always hook up right into that Chesapeake Bay, New Jersey, and Long Island area we talk about. That's almost like a little catcher's mitt pocket here um, that could it, could it could get caught up in. So we definitely have to watch both of these. Um, let's see here. Our in, uh, tropical intensity index is very um, intense. How about that? How about that for a word? It's very intense. You can see all the dark reds. You can actually see where this invest wants to go. It's kind of marked the spot where that second invest is, but basically these areas, I know it sounds repetitive for those of you that watch daily, but uh, these are highly favorable areas for cyclone formation, which means if enough moisture um, has cling to itself and is moving into these areas, chances are we will start seeing that cyclone and the spin and that counterclockwise motion. And then the more time it has in the water and de depending on the temperature of the water, um, that's where we gain our strength. So um, I'm going to be talking more and more about um, how these form, why they form, what they need um, in order to form as the season goes on, as we start dealing with these storms because I don't care how many articles you read saying it's going to be a weak season, we will be dealing with hurricanes, and they're already starting, and we just need to have um, a basic understanding of what to look out for. This way we don't have to wait for the news to tell us last minute what we're looking at. Um, this is uh, KLY Strone 9. Uh, shout out, I got a comment for a shout out to this uh, website, so I used it again. Um, here's the information they got. Looking more organized, development likely, but not a major threat as it will run into a hostile environment later in the week. And what by, they mean by that are shear winds. Now, shear winds are those high-level altitude winds, basically the same height as a uh, airliner airplane that will be moving west to east, and these are known to tear these storms apart before they form. Now, if this storm forms and gains some rotation before that happens, that would lower the chances of the shear winds actually destroying it. So we just need to wait and see, but the fact that they went on and put this on a 70% shows that they are pretty confident this will organize, um, if not for the shear winds. So again, that is why we have to do this daily, why we have to talk about this basically almost eight hours. I mean, I just made a video, what, four or five hours ago, and we've already seen changes, so they're clearly watching this area. Um, this is the big one right here, number two. Uh, we can click on it and get a closer look. You can almost see that we are getting that rotation. Um, this is as of 8 p.m. 
Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday, July 4th, so 70% there. We got our 40% here. We will do a separate video for the Pacific Ocean. Uh, they have clearly made spaghetti plots for this storm um, in the... Um, uh, what is this site called actually? This is the tropical tidbits obviously, but slash storm info slash 95 L for those of you that want to check it out so um Basically when you get your spaghetti plots and you get numbers like 50 to 70 percent Those are the ones you really want to focus on um, especially this time of year and just as a reminder to you guys that are talking about it being a weak season uh, you need to really look at these months May June um June 20th to July and then even to the beginning of August you could tell right here by this graph that the level of hurricanes is not that much but once we hit mid-August through September and then into October uh, it's like a mountain peak so we cannot uh, rely on these articles that are saying it's going to be a weak season um, especially when we have invest in the Atlantic Ocean currently at numbers of 70 percent so you know, you just got to put the information together in your head and, and use logic and understand that this is weather, things change, nobody can predict the weather um, 100% all the time, it's just not possible, but what we can do is we can look at this data every day and we can get a general idea and learn different patterns. Uh, live lightning chart, still lots of lightning going on in the Gulf, a lot of lightning going on in the mid area between the Gulf and the Great Lakes and then we got a little wraparound following our jet stream this will move up into the Northeast um, don't know how much lightning we'll be seeing but there will be some rain coming uh, spotty storms now as far as our mimic chart goes we always talk about this and we always will the, our shark waves now this is why this is a 70% um, invest right now is because of what we spoke about in our last video this rotation when you start seeing these barrel rolls you already know that there's rotation and that also means that storms are clinging together and we also need to remember that this is right in the middle of that sand strip so whether the sand has anything to do with this or not uh, we have a 70 percent chance of cyclone formation following a sand trail so I mean you can take it for what it's worth but it seems to me that sand is actually aiding in the formation of these storms um, so you know if you want to look into that further I may do a video on that on the uh, scientists that do believe that and I will also um, provide the the argument to it uh, to the people that believe it is not uh, something that causes uh, hurricanes so I like to do both sides I don't favor anything I just show you the data I give you my opinion and then we move on to the next day so that's where we're at now guys we have jumped up to 70% um, chances are this will be a named storm so we are gonna start going down our alphabet and remember guys Hurricane Harvey was not until August so um, and once we hit Harvey Harvey was one of the worst ones we've ever seen then we had Irma which was devastating to a lot of places thank God it hit Cuba um, or else we would not have a west coast of Florida so um, very strong hurricanes back to back to back could happen at any moment and that's just the time of season that we are living in now so that's what I got for you for tonight guys uh, tomorrow morning is another day we will see how this develops overnight and we will report on it absolutely so thank you for staying up late with me if we don't talk later on it will be early in the morning have a great night guys take care bye bye